guys welcome back to another video today as you can see i'm in front of my very unfinished house we don't have a roof yet but um i am going to actually be focusing on the bathroom and i'm going to show you a really cool shower hack today so let's get straight on into the video this hack doesn't involve advanced placement look if i click on the little thingy i still need to buy the game pass i do not um have the game pass at all or anything like that so that is great so let's go ahead and focus on the bed. what you are going to need you're gonna need like a little kind of like a square room like this and you're going to also want to put your grid on small so let's do that all right grid is now on small you are going to need the modern shower set you're going to put it in the corner where you want your bath to be or on the wall side wherever you want your bath to be i kind of want it to be like this so let's put it like this now you're going to get the tilt bathtub and just kind of place it as close as possible and you're going to want to get it so that it's so that there's still room right here between and it's you don't want it to be on the line of the square, otherwise this will not work. Alright, let's just place it down. There we go. As you can see, you can see those all together. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the walls for the shower. So you're just going to want to go out like this on this end and not on these other ends because you will not be able to enter your bathroom. Then you're going to want to use your fences and use a plain quarter fence. There we go. And now everything's put together like this. You can't see anything through there. And you're wondering how am I going to put the curtain on there? Well, here we go. We're going to go in with our windows and we're going to take the modern window here and we're just gonna do like this so that it's so that you can see in there just like so and then this is the part where you're going to want to start painting everything the colors that you want them to be and blah blah blah, blah. so i'm just gonna start with dark stone gray because i absolutely love i have like a small obsession with this shade of gray because it just looks super nice and modern so I'm just going to paint everything dark stone gray because I absolutely love this color. Alright, let's go to the back side here. You're also going to want to make sure that you paint the inside of the wall here. Like the side. So here we go. We're just going to paint that dark stone gray as well. And the window. Paint dark stone gray. Well, if you guys are using you know, the same thing as me, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Let's go ahead and, and you're also, if you're using this, you're going to need to change the color just so it's every, like everything is the same. You're just going to search up plastic. All right, there we go. Now pretty much everything is the same. Okay. Yep, everything looks the same here. So let's go ahead and turn all the way over here. Yes, so you can see my shower heads and everything have not changed. The only thing that I'm going to change about the shower heads, I'm actually going to make them all white. Same with the bathtub one. White. Perfect. Now that you have basically your whole setup, you're going to want to now make the curtain because nobody wants to see it just like this so you're going to want to go over into curtains and you're going to want to take the clear curtains out and then you want to put them on your window this way it makes this and you can also paint them to make them like a cool design or whatever you guys want to do so i'm going to make this like a bluish or no seashell i'm going to make this a nice seashell color um you can do like zebra prints if you wanted to the camo prints this or this this one makes it the hardest to see, so it looks the most like a shower curtain. But I'm just going to go through some of them that people might use, like maybe this one, or you could also like do a stone one, which I don't know who 
I wouldn't use that one, but here's some vertical stripes. Um, the roof tiles and this. I'm just showing off them. You guys don't have to use them. Um, you have glass trellis and there's birds as well. And then you can also do puzzle pieces as well as this or the rest of them. So yeah, those are just that. I personally like to use this one because it's the hardest to see and it's almost like a shower curtain. Or the camo one, the the camo one, also this one. This one is my favorite design, so I think I'm just going to go for zigzag because it looks really, really good. Alright, now that we've done our shower, let's move on to the next part of the bathroom, which will be the toilet area.
bathroom and I'm going to be showing you in three, two, one, let's walk inside. All right, so inside the bathroom, when you first walk in, you will see this, this is what you first see. You see this really pretty like pineapple, rainbow pineapple picture thing. It looks really cool. As you might notice that I just left this decal the exact same because it looks really cool. And right here is our shower, which of course you can use like a shower or you can also take a bath if you wanted to. Um, and then over here, this is the toilet and over your head when you use the bathroom, you will see this little cool rainbow pineapple. You can brush your teeth here if you wanted to. And over here, you have the comb for your hair and perfume as well as some soap up there in the plant. Right here is also a nice little decal. Looks very nice. Very nice decal. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's it for today's video. If you guys want to see me decorate another part of this house, make sure to comment down below what part of the house you want me to see. Do you want me to do my bedroom or a sitting area? So yeah, just comment that down below if you want to see more. Make sure to hit the bell so you'll be notified if you if a new video like that does come out. And subscribe. Bye guys.